Walsh, can he get his radar up? Beautiful delivery. That's the one that caused the right hands problems. However, it was a no ball. Good piece of fielding by Hendy Bryan down at third man. on the stumps to the game. Another key stump, got away with it, Chanda pull at square leg. It's Courtney Walsh. And too much of a half volley and Tendulkar just sat there. He camped on the back foot and spanked it past mid off. The drive shot. He certainly has got good footwork. Easy single to Hendy Bryan. And look what we know about his lovely footwork. Oh, bold. That's the one that holds its line. The one that doesn't go into the stumps. It just pitches it. He's back into the attack. No ball he starts with. Another no ball from Walsh. This is where I believe the match referees have to be really strong. Costume. Slow ball. Should the West Indies not go through their overs in time? Paul now patrolling the boundary and getting in there quickly, so just the single. Tony. And the hundred coming up for India here with that no ball. No, I re really believe at this stage, and particularly Tendulkar there, looking to come down the track. Yes, that was a bit quicker, and he dragged it down when he saw Tendulkar coming. Oh, good delivery. Still won't get the single. It's 11 runs of 26 balls of Courtney Walsh. Good variation in pace there. Almost carried, in fact, did carry to Courtney Walsh. He stuck out his right hand there. So Walsh is continuing here. This is a good contest between Walsh and Tendulkar. Except take the catch. Again, that's very well bowled. He's got him this time. So Courtney Walsh has got a big wicket here for the West Indies. Persisted on that very good line and length around off stump. Just a hint of movement away from the right-hander. Got a faint edge and Ridley Jacobs did the rest. Behrens. Yes, he maintained concentration very well. Despite the disappointment in his last over where he dropped uh, Tendulkar. He maintained concentration and eventually was rewarded.